Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I got kind of a follow-up video to uh, my video from earlier this week, uh, which was, you know, intro to Apache Flink. And that got a lot of people in questions commenting, hey, what about uh, Airbyte? What about using Apache Flink and Airbyte? What about, uh, or using Airbyte or Apache Flink? Um, and I also got some comments about, hey, you know, how do we integrate Flink with Airflow, Airbyte with Airflow? Uh, and so to kind of, before I get to, you know, how to integrate or compare Airbyte to any other tool, I wanted to take a dive deep into it on its own first, take a look at, uh, you know, hey, what does Airbyte do? What is it really good at? How easy is it to get started using? Um, and, you know, what kind of differentiates it from other products? So that's what we're gonna explore today in this video. Um, you know, I'm gonna run through, hey, high level, what is Airbyte, some use cases, some advantages, some uh, companies that are using Airbyte, and then I'll just kind of briefly get started on, you know, just get setting up with the platform. Um, I'll save kind of a deeper dive in building pipelines for later videos. So just think of this as more of an introductory uh, to, hey, what is Airbyte and how do I get started using it? Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So Airbyte is an open source data integration tool. Uh, it simplifies data movement and transformation. And that's just a fancy way for saying it's an ETL tool. Um, and it has a ton of different connectors and it was relatively recently launched um, and really has gained traction in the very competitive space of ETL tools. And you can kind of see, you know, some of the traction here with these computing metrics um, for its versatility and easy use. Um, as you'll kind of see later on, this is a very easy platform for someone with limited technical knowledge to get started uh, building or editing connectors. Um, so not only can you make use of their rich library of, you know, kind of pre-built out of the box integrations, but you also have the ability to edit those or customize them. I mean, as anyone who's worked in integrations knows, that's really, really crucial because typically integrations don't work right out of the box when you're dealing with production use cases, because everyone's got their own kind of special way of networking or doing whatever. Um, and so you need to have that uh, customizability to actually be able to make use of tools like Airbyte. And so to kind of support this and, you know, the reason why it's so flexible is you have a lot of different options for how you want to define your pipeline. You, know, you can you do it via the UI, you can do it via the API, um, and then you can see and you can string, hey, Terraform or the API commands into an existing pipeline um, or add some layer, a string of API commands that connect to Airbyte um, all on top of each other. And so if you want to run Airbyte, um, you have basically two options. You have Airbyte Cloud, um, where you have cloud hosted product just as, you know, you'll kind of see like Databricks, like any of those. You also have uh, Airbyte Self-Managed where it's an open source install. As you can see, you know, this is just an open source, or not just an open source project, but it is an open source project at its core. If you go to uh, the Airbyte GitHub, you can download this, um, run it all locally, and you can go through the README here as well to how to get started uh, setting up open source on your local machine. So you kind of have a typical approach for open source products where you have, hey, you can self-manage it, or you have a company like Airbyte. Um, you know, Airbyte is in the analogous to Airbyte, so it's not like Astro Airflow, um, but basically the ability to, you know, hey, say, hey, I don't want to manage any of this, I just want to make use of the platform, and you can come to Airbyte and buy their cloud managed offering. And so before I go into, you know, how to set up either way, I also just want to dive into a little bit of what are some of the use cases of Airbyte, you know, what is this, I, I don't care about how to deploy it if it's not actually something that's useful for me, right? So number one, uh, at its core, it is an extract and load tool. You can see, you know, it's got the classic, if you look, you know, five train, they got X amount of connectors, you got Ethan Aaron, he's got however many connectors on portable, whatever. They have a lot of connectors too, and they have the ability for you to customize on top of it. Um, so you can build, you know, hey, connectors your way. And I won't go back into this, you know, because I already talked about this. Um, another cool thing they have is actually database replication. So you can do real time data replication. Um, so you can replicate high volume databases in minutes. Um, so if you need to constantly do change data capture, um, you need to be constantly walking large amounts of change or transferring large amounts of data. Uh, Airbyte has some really cool. Uh, capabilities for that, um, which is rare because real-time data capture is, you know, very hard to actually implement um, at scale. And so kind of looking through some of their success stories, you know, a lot of these are around, hey, you know, we don't have to spend as much maintaining our own integration platform. Uh, you know, we have a much more streamlined, easy to use uh, integration system, which allows us to create more pipelines. Um, you know, Fanatic was able to consolidate data silos. 
Um, and so really all, a lot of these success stories and a lot of the reason why companies are, turn, are use Airbyte is just to have an easier to use system. So, you know, maybe non-technical users can come in, they can define an integration for their systems um, and then have Airbyte manage the actual technical heavy lifting under the hood and they can kind of just interact with you with the UI, but while maintaining the customizability for, let's say, the data engineers to come in build, uh, you know, a lot, uh, build a custom connector, build in their own custom logic, and then all of your downstream business users can use that to, you know, access that data or build their own integrations off of it. Uh, so it democratizes kind of the access to an integration platform without a lot of sacrifice in terms of functionality. So now, and I promise we're going to get into a little bit of demoing, uh, but I also want to talk about, hey, why would you want to use uh, Airbyte over other competitors? Um, and number one, and I think there's a lot of projects, but open source uh, with a very, very healthy adoption. Um, you know, the GitHub stars is kind of a skewed metric, but a lot of community members, a lot of contributors, a lot of deployments. Those are the kind of things I look for. Um, and they still have, you know, obviously with open source, you have a little bit of a risk if there's not a company that's really kind of driving or has funding to help drive, uh, you know, centralize a little bit of the development, uh, but they have that, they have managed offerings. So I feel a little bit more secure uh, knowing that's true. Obviously Flink has that as well, uh, but we're not doing a direct comparison to them yet. Uh, they have a really broad connector library, but what I think more important than that is the fact that you can customize a lot of those connectors um, as I'll show you when we kind of take a dive into the, cl into the cloud offering um, and Going into their Slack, they seem to have a pretty healthy Slack. It's not super big, um, definitely, you know, on its way up. This is again only started in 2020, so still a relatively new company, um, new product. So really excited to see, you know, kind of where this goes. Um, I think it has kind of the ability to scale and adapt itself to a lot of different use cases. Um, and so to illustrate that, let's dive into trying it for free. Um, so first I'm just gonna show you how to try Airbyte Cloud Free since it is completely free. Um, so if we go here, sign up, I will go through the sign up process and come right back to you. And so here we have the Airbyte platform to sign up with Google. You'll need a business email. Um, and then I'll make another video running this open source and kind of spinning up a local machine. I uh, just don't want it just to run too long. Um, so here uh, I'm going to just play around in a demo instance that they have so graciously provided and never mind, I got a cloud fair failure when I tried to do that. So excuse me. Uh, or actually, excuse Airbyte. So here uh, you have your connection. So creating our first connection here. So you can choose from a variety of different sources. Uh, since I haven't selected any sources, I don't have any to pre-select from. Uh, but if I go through here, let's see, any of these coin market cap, that'd, that'd be pretty cool. Um, oh wait, I need an API key for that. Never mind. Um, so we want to. Do, do, do. Let's see. So there is a very wide range of connectors here. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Let's see, Google Drive, uh, folder URL, authenticate my Google account. And then, let's see. So here, you, pretty easy way to interact. But again, you know, this is kind of highlighting, hey, it is very easy to, you know, even for someone, if I don't know any code, right? I can just come in here. Uh, all I need is a folder URL. So uh, let me just go quick, grab a folder URL here, um, insert it there. And you, know, you can see how someone with zero technical knowledge would be able to kind of come in here, say, hey, okay, cool. So I just have to add a folder. Um, let's just add one for Airflow memes and set up source. Um, and so see, you can see here, this is just a folder where I have a bunch of different Airflow meme images um, because why not? love making my mess. Um, and here we have a configuration check, probably an issue with the connector. Uh, so lovely. So we got an issue already. Um, so, so this is where you can add connectors. Um, let's add different sources here. I'm just going to leave this page because it looks like something's borked. Um, so here, if I go into the connector fields, um, you have your sources, destinations, obviously both the same. Um, and if you want to actually build a, let's see, let's build a connector from scratch. So here I could have an API based URL. So you could build your own integration connection by having an API URL that you want to use. Um, and then you can say, hey, you know, I want to have a bear token, having your uh, header or you know, JSON payload where you have your uh, bear token contained within here. Um, and then you can kind of 
imagine expose this for less tech savvy, people that don't know how to use an API, and then set this up to integrate with other systems. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, this is just, it is an integration system. You know, you're not going to want, I would say you're going to want to use this in conjunction with your know, orchestration system, um, with additional tooling. You're probably not going to be able to, you know, get by with just Airbyte, but it is a really cool tool for just getting started or, you know, not getting started, but for operationalizing integrations between a lot of different systems, but in a way that is easy to use for the non-tactical user. Um, so, you know, you obviously lose some of the flexibility you would have if you were defining these integration routes just via scripts or code or, you know, writing them, uh, you know, maybe in Airflow. But what you could do is, you know, use this in conjunction with things like Airflow or other tooling to, you know, they can take care of kind of the heavy lifting of the logic and Airbyte makes it easy for you to just quickly do the point to point connections set, define, you know, hey, I want these fields to go here where you don't need to write out uh, all of that code within a script. Um, so hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know. Um, if you didn't also let me know and I won't make any more videos like this. Um, and next time, if we, if this does well, um, I will go deep into kind of how to build a pipeline with Airbyte, run it locally, um, and all that jazz. Um, but for now, have a good one. Data guy out. Peace.